Hello folks, um, I'm going to talk about PGDBA, which I think stands for Postgraduate Diploma in Business Analytics, a beautiful, beautiful course and one of the um, rare courses where multiple institutions come together and it still is magical. And so, so I am Calcutta, uh, IIT Karakpur and ISI, all three of them do this course together. And so, it has one unit of business understanding, uh, one unit of uh, mathematics, statistics, data, one unit of data analysis and coding. And so, it's a beautiful course. Even if you think about it, it's one of the juiciest courses around for our current era. And lots of business guys who have clear business understanding, understand economics and GDP and the world and all of that. Uh, but they are, if they're tech noobs, they're going to struggle in this world. If they can't understand the AI and product and prompt world, they're going to struggle in this world. The guys who completely get uh, how to prompt and how to use tech, but uh, simply don't have any idea of what can make money, they're going to struggle in this world. Okay. And if you have a high funder strategist and, and data guy and math guy who doesn't know either of this, you're going to struggle more. And so this is a beautiful combination across board. So those of you who are, who are uh, thinking about a management career, but you ha have a good tech understanding, then this is the course tailor-made for you. And one of our guys, Raghu, uh, picked this course and he would have given up any course in any IM for the full-fledged PGDM flagship course to go here. And he got, he, he waited and he got this and then he went there and he's doing wonderfully well. And so for some people, this is a more meaningful course than PGDM. Uh, back when I was studying, this was not available. I would have loved this course over a regular MBA, at least the way I was built then. And so it's a beautiful course, absolutely delightful course. So what does it entail? It's a, the exam is a three hour exam. 50 questions, three marks plus three minus one, typical positive and negative marks if you get stuff wrong. Zero marks for uninterpreted question, obviously, goes without saying. This is the framework for the exam. What does it test? Uh, it tests quanti quantitative ability, just math. It tests verbal ability, logical reasoning, data interpretation. And so the very similar to our typical aptitude testing exam, except the weightage for quant is very high. The style of questions in quant is more mathematical, not just numerical. What do I mean by that? It's not ratios, percentage, profit and loss. It can talk about limits, continuity and differential calculus. They want to know if you know math, math and not just uh, just doing ratios and percentages. Thank you. Verbal reasoning, again, has to be there, many tests. These two are lesser weightage and they're slightly simpler. And if you're preparing for this exam seriously, this is the ball game. Verbal ability, typical reading comprehension, grammar, sentence rearrangement, uh, the, 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 nothing new, standard set of questions. It is not impossibly tough. It is probably slightly simpler than what you may expect in CAT or GMAT. And so standard framework, very crackable, but you will definitely need some practice. Okay. The logical reasoning is straightforward, 10%. This is just a broad framework. There's nothing here. So have a couple of cracks at what kind of questions have come, but logical reasoning and data interpretation, you're not going to spend a lot of time preparing. You know what this is, go wing it. Nothing more than that. The really tricky part, the really part, the part that you need to dwell on and, and kind of grab very clearly is this one. Uh, because it talks about, we're going to have questions about linear equation, quadratic equations, inequalities, functions, all of that, progressions, all of that in algebra. Uh, coordinate geometry, yeah, they go deep into, have questions from conic sections. And so, Trigonometry, yeah, lots of questions. I mean, not lots of questions, but higher level of difficulty than is typically expected. Right? Little bit of calculus, functions, limits, continuity, not high funda calculus, they're not going to give you an impossibly tough indefinite integral and say, find this and solve this. But they want you to have an intuitive understanding of calculus. I mean, I've not uh, actually sat down to study calculus in the last 20 years. I did the whole shebang in 1995 to 2000. I did a bunch of exams. Uh, so I have the frameworks of calculus in my head, but I've not done the math of it. Very often I find myself really enjoying these questions and being able to try them and answer them, even though my memory has faded. I don't know the details. I've not done 100 questions. So these questions are in, very intuitive and really well framed. Okay. Combinatorics and probability theory and geometry. Euclidean geometry is kind of geometry as we know it. Triangle, circles, polygons, all of that. And so, the syllabus is tougher than CAT. You'll need to know some of some elements of what you've learned in classes 11 and 12. Nobody seriously prepares for this exam for a year or so, but you can't 
turn up and wing it and this is this part is tough right so you'll have to revisit your mathematics get some practice in the data adaptation logical reasoning part to sound some some amount of reading and be familiar with verbal question types and then you can have a good crack at it right the the last date for application is march 6th which is kind of upon us typically they give some extension they let, let you have one more week to do so hopefully that is also available fine right? but so far i don't think they've announced it typically they, they extend that and right? so 20 to 24 you get your hall ticket exam is on april 6 so anyone watching this video who is not yet prepared for it you have to give or take four weeks to prepare for it prepare super intensely with a with a, and give it a full crack because it's one month you can run a sprint and plan well game the system really well if you don't don't know a bunch of questions leave them take your chances gamble well you can give yourself a chance the the number of people attempting it the level of intensity of competition all of that is lower vis a vis cat this is still india and it's a fantastic course this is not a course being discovered now so people are going to know about it and turn up and prepare for it and, and all that it is competitive no doubt about it but probably a smidge and lower than lower than cat all of you who are interested in having one foot in the technology world one foot in the management world this is the course for you um once again i'm referring back to ragu ragu is our we uh, worked with us he's our student he worked with us for a few years uh, and he finished his pg dba now he's working again uh, and he he takes a ton of classes for us he uh, he he speaks to speech students who are attempting pg dba he helps with uh, doubt clarification he clears doubts on our forums he he's, he he's still joined the hip with us and so and he was uh, kind of built in a way where this course makes sense for him way more than pgdm is very happy as a problem solver but reluctant to go reach out to five people and bond with them and and, and network and, and 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 listen to their views and bring people together and and create a new dynamic that's not his thing he's not a jerk he very happily fit into any environment and gel in and contribute and have fun but he's not a guy who's who, who likes this so he's a guy who's to give me the problem i'll do whatever it takes to solve it that kind of guy but he likes the idea of businesses profits margins and how do, how does that happen so to, 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 but and he was reluctant to leave his tech part so tech business and the problem solving intersection between these two if that is the thing that appeals to you then this is the course you should just jump in and give it a full fledged go there's also going to be an interview part right at the end of it so it's, it's, we at 2 im not doing a have a bunch of the pg dba questions on our youtube channel where you have solved them go through that solutions for pg dba questions kind of be enjoy it um uh, so i've solved quite a few questions from pg dba sitting there definitely solve that pick up some class 10 class 11 book go through that i don't think there are too many actually well designed courses for this but you pick up a couple of books do a couple of mocks go through the previous year papers hit the youtube channel see the solution you should be good to go and so best wishes have a good crack at it okay so final thing what is the what is the selection criteria the exam score personal interview or the big chunks okay? and then your class 12 score and work experience also contribute to it and so the, 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 all of this become relevant if you clear this hurdle right now think about that crack that give it a go best wishes Thank you.